We're online, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira, and today I am, in fact, walking on the sand of Porto Santo. Super, super excited. We've got a jam packed episode up for you guys on what to do in Porto Santo and what the summer is like in Porto Santo. So, before we get into all of that, let's fill you in real quick on where exactly is Porto Santo. Porto Santo is a small island of around 42 square kilometers in size and sits roughly 66 kilometers northeast of the main island of Madeira. The locals' favorite way of traveling to the island is by ferry and the Porto Santo line runs up to seven times per week and the journey takes roughly two and a half hours. Once arriving at the port, I highly recommend getting a taxi or some sort of transport organized beforehand preferably as it is still quite a distance into the main town and we want to save time of course. Alright, so you can come for the day to Porto Santo but me personally whenever I come here I like to stay a couple of nights <laughs> take it all in excited I just saw Margarita. She walked past. She's at the back here. Who, uh, who is the first employee of Villa Bellera, this hotel. And she's been here for quite a while. And I'd really like to say hi because I have been here before and uh, she was very, very, very nice to me. In fact, everybody at this hotel has always been really nice to me. So I'm looking forward to say hello to her. Uh, and then getting onto the beach, can't wait. Excited. She's on the phone. Tudo bem, tá tudo bem, Um abraço contigo e está tudo bem o seu trabalho. Ah, sim, então. Agora tenho este senhor aqui a fazer as filmagens, já não sou eu. É um gosto tê-los de novo na nossa casa da Baleira, está bem. Então, você pode fazer sempre outra coisa. E queria dizer a malta que há uns anos atrás já fizemos aquela grande entrevista aqui. Foi mesmo? Foi muito bom. Ótimo. Já tenho pensado muito em ti. See, Margarita here was the first employee in the hotel uh, and we did an interview a couple of years ago uh, here at Villa Ballera. We did a couple of videos and Margarita was absolutely awesome. Gave me everything I needed and uh, all the support we needed, so it's super cool to be back. E Margarida, vamos estar aqui uns dias. Uh, course, okay. It was a pleasure, it was a pleasure yes. to meet him and to, and to follow, you know, our journey you now here at Villa Valera. So, uh, and you are always welcome. We are here to, uh, to wait also for you. Thank you. <laughs> Get out of here. This over here is the best sand in the world, by far the best beach sand in the world, in my opinion, right? But I'm quite sure that science proves it. So there's actually, this is actually medicinal sand. Uh, and just off the top of my head, uh, because again, I'm not a uh, expert on Porto Santo, but, um, and I'm looking forward to learning more, uh, but this is a medicinal sand, it's got properties in the sand, it's really high in all of the really good stuff that you want, like magnesium and calcium and all that kind of stuff. So really good for the bones and really good for any kind of bone related diseases such as uh, osteopor... how do you say that? <laughs> I'm looking at the Villa Baleda website and there's loads of information there regarding the sand and the medicinal properties in Porto Santo, which are loads. So it says here, Porto Santo sand has long been used to treat musculoskeletal disorders, uh, rheumatic and orthopedic diseases such as rheumatoid 
arthritis, arthrosis, gout, osteoporosis, and fibromyalgia. Andrea can, can help with that one, right? But anyway, um, yeah, so that's it. I'm not gonna bore you with all of this stuff, but it's actually really super interesting. Uh, and there's a lot of great information here. And this is in fact the sand um, that we all love. It is illegal to take sand from Porto Santo, so don't take any of the sand. Um, but when you're out here, you know, you kind of want to bury yourself in it and rub it all over. That's what I do. So I'm usually full of sand. And there is an old story here, um, something about Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo's mother convinced him to come here one time when he was battling an injury. Uh, he was already a professional footballer and apparently uh, he was convinced to come out to Porto Santo and to do some sand therapy to help uh, kind of, you know, accelerate the healing process. So best sand in the world. You know what? I don't even know why I'm doing this. I mean, we should just get Cristiano Ronaldo to get out here. You know, if he, I mean, but you know, do we really want to though? Do we really want the whole world to know about Porto Santo? I don't know, I think we might just want to keep it for a secret for now. Waiting patiently. We have Tanya there. We have Tanya. Yes. Waiting for, for the reflections. The reflections. Yeah. yeah. Today it's all about the water, so we're getting in the water, we're going to explore a little bit of the underwater and a little bit of coastline of Porto Santo, so getting to know the nature and with, uh, today we're with Porto Santo Destination Tours uh, and the famous Matias, uh, who we have indeed been with before on a kayak tour earlier, well earlier uh, in the year should I say, or last year, last year September. So looking forward to doing some snorkeling now, we're getting uh, Veronica in the water as well. I think she's a little bit nervous, uh, but if Matthias is as good as he says he is, then uh, everything should be perfect. So yeah, can't wait to get the GoPro under the water and start filming some, uh, some cool things. You guys ready? Have you subscribed and liked and commented on your favorite, uh, your favorite things in Madeira? Andrea, do they, do, they don't do it enough, do they? No, they, you guys, they have to do you it. You gotta do it. Let us know what you think, right? And then we can show you, you know, what, what we can give you what you want. So yeah, let's do that. Less, less, less blabbing and more, uh, <laughs> more filming. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh man, I feel so useless. Well, uh, as maybe you can tell, I had a little bit of a situation yesterday. And uh, as disappointed as I am, uh, thankfully everything is okay and everything uh, is moving on forward. So for those of you who know me really well, uh, will know that I have a problem with my shoulder. I've dislocated it many times. And unfortunately now it just like pops in and out whenever it wants to kind of thing. Hasn't happened for a good year and a half, but unfortunately yesterday um, with just a bad movement while I was swimming, it popped out. So here we are. Uh, this is gonna be like plan B somehow because I'm all wrapped up and I'm gonna be wrapped up until I get to Funchal and I can't work for two to three weeks. So there's going to be a little bit of improvisation happening, which is what we're uh, good at, thankfully. But uh, I want to just say thank you, first of all, to Vila Baleira for all the support. Um, also to our film crew and team, Andre and Carlos and Pedro and Tanya and Veronica, who, uh, of course, uh, has looked after me and made sure that everything went smoothly. Also, uh, Matias. Uh, thank you very much for all your help and uh, I'm sorry I couldn't film the kayaking with you because I was looking super forward to that and the snorkeling was awesome. Um, also the family that helped take me to the um, hospital or to the health center here in Porto Santo. Uh, if you guys are watching, thank you and thank you to everyone at the health center in Porto Santo. Unfortunately, I got to see how uh, good the service is so thanks guys and uh, we're gonna carry this on so we're gonna have some breakfast unfortunately i can only have one hand so it's one spoon and then veronica's gonna go and get me some more breakfast but uh but anyway yeah so i hope you guys are enjoying our porto santo adventure it is being quite an adventure uh and hopefully it's gonna get a lot better so yeah we're ready let's do it when your heart is raised you're raising at the speed of light and you feel like you got nowhere else to go No, I hold you till the sun comes in the morning light Yeah, I'll keep you safe, I'll never let you go You're a light of rocks That's the wrong way to go Always ready <laughs> So the hotel felt bad for us, I think. And this is our plan B. Because I can't go kayaking and snorkeling and all this cool stuff, uh, we've decided that it's time to take a bus tour. But uh, babe, I need some help here. Can you just, just take this thing off? Ow. Pull. Ow. Ow. Ah! Pull, 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 pull. Ah! <laughs> right, let's go and see Porto Santo from the sightseeing buses point of view you can do this kind of tour I believe it's like two or three hours and you see all the main spots because it is a small island so uh, should be fun and uh, looking forward to spending some time in the city center so let's go. Well, that was fun. Uh, the bus ride was awesome. We got to see loads of the island, uh, pretty much all the important points. It is a small island, so you can actually see quite a lot, uh, but there is a lot more to explore. 
the guide was cool and he was telling me all these interesting facts and all these things. So I can't wait to come back here and to actually show you more, much more of this. So we're in the city now, in the, in, no, well not the city, the, the capital, should I say, which also goes by the name of Villa Baleda. Uh, I'm not sure which one came first, if it was the capital, the hotel, just kidding. We're gonna get some, uh, some, some uh, typical things from Porto Santo, just one or two little things. And we're gonna head back to the hotel um, to film some more cool stuff. Yeah, let's go. This is not fruit juice. Uh, in fact, this was a gift from a friend here in Porto Santo that makes wine. So they actually have wine. This is like a farmer wine type of thing. Babe, do you wanna help me open this? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, it's pretty good. The grapes of Porto Santo are really awesome as well. They're, they're pretty big. So, cheers to you guys. You know which grape? It's very young. I don't know which grape. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say Cani, but I don't know. Don't know. Porto Santo wine, a topic for another video. And we're going to get also the, um, how do I say, the compulsory, the mandatory, the mandatory ice cream. Uh, that all the locals come for every time they're in Porto Santo there's one famous ice cream shop everybody goes there let's go get some ice cream to wash down the wine with huh yeah. <laughs> let's go babe you gonna help me <laughs> hey I gotta oh oh my god It's almost over. Five minutes. I believe everyone's going for banana peach. You, you as well, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go for the chocolate orange. The thing is complicated too, though. Nothing No, it's okay, banana. Oh, the premier puts chocolate. Hey Jeff, ah. how was your day? No words to describe other than fantastic. Fantastic. Over the past few days, we've had the most amazing food at this place. The food is incredible. Uh, there's different kind of themes every night, so you're not having the same food all the time. And the breakfast is really, really um, complete. So you can find uh, lots of different little things like these hash browns, which are amazing when you've only got one hand. <laughs> We've been looking forward to having an excuse to come to Porto Santo for a while now. Our favorite getaway where we come to experience the crystal clear waters, the therapeutic sand, the sun and a little bit of the good life. When Vila Baleda and the team at B Projects Marketing and Media approached us on a potential marketing partnership, this became more than just an excuse for a good time. Not only are we more than proud to be associated with such an established brand, 
but also felt a sense of achievement that all of our hard work had started to pay off. Our partnership with Vila Belayda is an important milestone for us professionally and for me personally as well. If I could choose any hotel brand to partner up with, it would most definitely be one with a presence on Porto Santo. It makes me even happier to already have a history with this particular group, having been here already twice in the past. And even after a couple of years, I still feel at home at Vila Belayda. While planning for this video, we did some research on what the Villa Boleto Group stands for, and this is what we found. The group's corporate philosophy is based on three fundamental pillars, people, product, and communication. They work hard to ensure that these three pillars stand together and are valued in order to guarantee the best final experience for those who visit. It's funny how we found many similarities between us and them. So we thought we'd be a little bit cheeky and blow the budget. Olá, sim, o quarto está bom, parece que está muito bom. Agora vamos precisar é, de algumas coisas para a gente fazer o nosso trabalho, se não importa. Para começar, vamos precisar de um bocadinho de transporte. Obviamente, para filmar as coisas, temos que andar para aqui e para lá e tal. Um caiaque com snorkeling. Uh, obviamente temos que trabalhar com a barriga cheia e tal. Eu não sei se é possível. Vocês uh, fazem serviço aos quartos. É preciso... A gente pode ter aí um, um champanhe, por exemplo. E diga-me uma coisa. Vocês têm spa? Não têm? Boa, boa. Ok. Ok. Obrigado. Obrigado. Até já. Até já. Até já. Obrigado. Até já. Uf. I guess uh, any, any minute now we're going to have to get to work. I don't know. I don't know if this is what I want to do, you know? See, it's, it's not easy. Definitely not easy. So I find it a little bit ironic that I'm on the beach of Porto Santo and I can't get in the water and I can't scrub the sand all over. I came here to become a little bit healthier, uh, you know, to take in all the therapeutic uh, properties of the island, of the sand, the water, to get some rest uh, because we've been working so, so hard. And instead, Porto Santo gave me exactly what I needed, in a sense, instead of what I wanted. Uh, I am going to be off now for a couple of weeks nursing this injury. And actually, this is something that I've had to kind of look at uh, for a long time now and address, should I say. It's been a problem that I've had to address. It's something that I've just been postponing and postponing that one day I'm going to fix my shoulder and uh, it's probably now is the time and it's just time to bite the bullet and to do it. So Porto Santo has given me exactly what I need uh, in the sense that it's given me that wake up that this needs to be happening, that this needs to be fixed. And you know, just the fact that it interrupted what we were doing here uh, in a sense that I'm not even safe uh, to be working uh, without having this you know, potentially ruin my day. So with that being said, I'm also really looking forward to coming back in October and to take advantage of the spa. So yes, we are officially in partnership with Villa Baleda. We are uh, officially talking with Villa Baleda to come back here in October uh, to show off some other parts of Porto Santo, perhaps the more tranquil parts. Of course, October is a little bit more quiet and it's more of my favorite uh, Parts, more of my favorite time in Porto Santo because it's a little bit more quiet. I'm a more quiet type of guy, for those of you who know me. So I'll be taking that opportunity to heal this a little bit better with the best sand in the world. But for now, this is what it is. We have to stay true. We have to stay positive, uh, even when life gives us uh, lemons in a sense. So make sure to stay tuned. There's of course lots of great stuff coming here at Hit The Road, not only from Madeira and Porto Santo as well. André, that's it, right? Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. Mm. Mm. Já acabaste? Só mais um bocadinho, amor.